Oh my goodness! Right now, we're lifting wheels and scraping panels on the tough tracks of Queensland's Bundaberg region. It's a classic little four-wheel drive destination with some amazing low-range oh. tracks and stunning beachfront camping. What are you doing? <laughs> but we found a way to make a Bundy road trip even better. And it starts right here at the Bucker Hotel. There's no better way to spend a few bucks than by supporting an iconic country watering hole. And after a fair bit of time on the road, our convoy is keen to put a few dollars over the bar and share a few frothies at this awesome little pub. So we've been on the road for a few weeks now and um, we've been driving all through Queensland. We've found our way to the Bucker Hotel, the Bucker Hotel. In, in central Queensland, right near Bundaberg. What a little place to find yourself. They've got camping just out the back. Our plan is, we just thought of it then over a couple of schooners. We thought, what about a bit of a country pub crawl? Why wouldn't you? Absolutely, mate. Look, I've got this one. This is my pub. Yep. I'm going to go first. The yep. Bucker Hotel. It's and a, it's, um, a great it's, a, it's a great place to yep. start because you've yep. got Pine Creek, you've got heaps Just of tough tracks, you've got yep. awesome camping close by. So, mm -hmm. folks, I reckon join us on a pub crawl and we're going to show you some of the best four-wheel driving you can have and at the same time, yep. go to a few really classic pubs. I've got one that you should know about it. It's right, if you if you were to go continue east uh, yep. past Bundy, right on the coast. Literally, right, yeah. the bar is on the coast. It's absolute cracking. I don't know that one, but I'm very keen to find out. Right, folks, I suggest you do like we are. Grab yourself something cold, get relaxed, sit down, settle in for another episode. Full ride 24 7. Right. You up for a game of pool? All right, I'm going to break. Joining us for our Bundy Bush to pub adventure is Ruben from DMW Industries and he's wheeling his big old Chop 200, complete with all the good fruit. Next up, we've got Nathan from Fulcrum Suspensions, and his capable dual cab is kitted out with their latest formula creations. And once again, we've got Jesse along to pilot the stallion himself, the strangely sticky and ever-leaking GQ Daryl. Shono will be driving his old diesel-blowing monster, Sooty the 80, and of course, I'm behind the wheel of a brand new D-Max still with less than a thousand kilometres on the clock. With the beers flowing at the bucker, we'll of course be leaving the tracks of Bundaberg till tomorrow morning. For now though, I better go find me a dartboard. Here we go. Ooh, ah, there you go, what a night. I've got to say, Graham, that was an absolute cracker, mate. The Bucker Hotel, eh? Mate, I remember that one for a while. Friendly folks, good food, couple of beers, and I nearly won the pool competition. The tracks of Bundy are all pretty well located close to both the pub and the beach. And so we haven't got to go far before we're off the bitumen and getting ready to engage low range. And with some tough tracks ahead, we'll be needing to let those tyre pressures right down. For our first track of the trip, we're heading down to the Weir at the Burnett River. It's an out and back track that provides a perfect intro to what Bundy has to offer. The tracks out here are chock full of huge wombat holes, just like this one. And I reckon on this trip, we'll be spending more time on three wheels than on four. And up ahead, the ruts, well, they're just getting bigger. This is a gnarly little climb. It doesn't look that much, but there's huge big ruts. So you get, probably I'm flexing through this one like a sick giraffe at the moment, just big ruts. A lot of challenges here are a toss up between straddling and driving the rut. And in this case, the best bet is to carefully place your tyres on either side of that big hole. Oh, that, that did not feel really comfortable. Oh, did this get really hot in here? I started sweating a lot. Driving a modern IFS vehicle, you soon get used to waving wheels in the air. But so yes. far, D-Max is handling these ruts perfectly. Yes! Yes! I thought you were going to fall in for sure. His, his tyre was like that. that. I was like, Little moment there. Oh, he, if he didn't commit to that in that last little bit, yeah. I reckon that would have been in big trouble. All right, Ruben, what's the plan of the big 200, mate? Wherever you tell me to go. <laughs> I like your confidence, mate. I like your confidence. I reckon um, same sort of line as the D-Max, and um, yeah, we'll spot you when you get to the hard bit up the top. Now, it takes a brave man to trust Sean's directions, but lucky for Ruben, we've also got Jesse on hand. That, that way. Otherwise, that back would have fallen worse than Okay. Listen to him. Listen to Jesse. I was going to go the other way. If you've watched our shows before, you'll remember that Jesse races winch trucks in his spare time. And I can tell you, Whoa, uh, the boy knows how to spot a vehicle through just about anything. With a bit of careful wheel placement, 
He's got the 200 pointing to the top. That's perfect, mate, perfect. Remember now, that's nearly four ton of truck oh, right there. That, that scares me every time and that rear tire goes so close to falling in. As usual, Nathan and the formula truck are quiet achievers in the convoy. Too easy, mate, too easy. It's not over yet. Well done, just nice and steady on it. That's a, well, that's a really good drive, mate, really good drive. Righto, Darrell. I think this truck we're about to do is a bit of locker country, so uh, we're a bit out of our depth. I think if you and me work together as a team and don't listen to what the boys have to say, we might have a good crack. Eddie, right. gonna go through here with that. I think you could do quite well. We've got the auto with the big 35s, yeah. no lockers. It might slide a little bit, but I reckon that auto is gonna keep him on track. I'm glad that he's been listening to what we've been saying. He's really come along as a driver. Yeah, he's a very nervous driver, but, yeah, but he's, starting to, he's starting to make headway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, nice. Well done, mate. Give yeah. yourself a pat on the back. <laughs> Yeah, just look what Graham and I did. We straddled this one, mate, and we'll try and take you up the same line if you like. Yeah, look, I don't know whether the trust is, but I don't have any other options, so I might have to. Don't worry, mate. The key to getting up is just follow our directions. <laughs> <laughs> what a stitch up, mate. You're pretty good, just a little bit that way. I'm loving the line, mate, loving the line. Now, the GQ does have an LSD, but it's got no lockers. So it's oh. important that Jesse keeps all four wheels on the ground or he's going to lose oh, traction. Oh, that's so close. Yeah, just that yeah, locker, let me down, eh? Well, black yeah, off. I'd like to get you, like, around yeah, that rock, ideally, just around it and then straighten it back up. This is the, this is the moment Daryl's panels were no longer straight. This is where I need two of me. Yeah. One on the outside and one on the inside. <laughs> what are you saying? Oh, that looks, that looks really uncomfortable. Look, I think I'm going to have to go back and start again. But keep your hands in the vehicle at all times. That's not what I, I did not say to do that, Jesse. <laughs> I don't have air activated differential locking devices like you, <laughs> mate. All right, Jesse's decided to ignore us now. Follow his own directions. Yeah! Yeah! Rastallion! What we had to do there was not listen to what the boys had to say. <laughs> you really like his cowboy at the process of that, mate, but that was a good drive. <laughs> was a good drive. Without lockers, you just have to, unfortunately, sometimes got to commit a little bit more than the rest. Yeah, yeah. It's one of those things you wouldn't understand, the whole skill versus lockers debate. Well. That's okay. That's a long you're having fun, mate. What are you doing next to me? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. As I mentioned earlier, this track leads down to the Burnett River. And after a few k's of low range, the river is up ahead and it's looking pretty damn specky. To get to the weir, first you've got to cross the Burnett itself. And as always, we'll be walking the crossing to check it before we commit the Forbies. And Sean well, he's putting some other minor assets oh, on the line. Unseasonably cold this water. <laughs> walk the line, mate. Don't walk down there. Oh, yeah. I'll be touching now. There he I'm goes. Getting very, very shriveled and cold. Yeah, he's. This is this is. <laughs> <laughs> that's the that's the that's the depth measure right there. We've actually driven this before. Last time, last time we were here, we actually I actually got stuck on the other side because it's got this really soft sort of rivery, gravelly, sandy type stuff, and I got stuck well a bit further in than where Shano is, and required dramatic rescuing. So we're just going to send the old fella in there and make sure all's okay. That's pretty deep. That's up to your waist. It might be deep, but that base looks pretty firm. So we should be okay, but before we cross, Jesse's doing a bit of preventative maintenance, which is a good idea given a lot of Daryl was put together in a 24 hour build. Well, we just stopped before this water crossing and um, the plan is to get Daryl water crossing ready. Now she's got the big snorkel, complete with the PVC pipe, bit of duct tape on there. There's a lot of sticker flex and silicon, so fingers crossed that's not gonna leak. But Jesse, what do you wanna protect on a petrol engine? Because that's petrol engines, usually when they get a bit of water in them, they just come to a complete stop. Yeah, we don't wanna stop over there. You wanna try and waterproof the ignition system. So yep. you just wanna spray a bit of tire shine we've got in this case, or silicon, silicon spray, spray, WD-40. WD-40, anything really, just to try and waterproof that area. So you wanna Jesse, keep the water out. Jesse spraying around the dizzy and all the leads there. Um, you're gonna do the coil. Yeah, coil pack over here and where, the, where the, they connect the spark plugs over there. Because usually you get a little bit of water, even a bit of moisture that goes inside that dizzy yeah. and wrecks that connection. It'll start to cough and sputter and usually will break down right in the middle of a water crossing. Well, that's a go, mate. A little bit of preventative maintenance. Um, hopefully, Big Daryl doesn't get stuck, mate. Hopefully he gets across. Good. Here we go. Good luck. Oh. All right. Man, I love river crossings. 
it's what separates a two-wheel drive from a four-wheel drive, in my humble opinion. You just don't take the old Pulsar across a river like this. <laughs> Let's get into it. Not hesitating. Straight in. Oh, he's taking a strange exit. Oh, what's he doing? Second gear. Ease my way in. Away we go, boys and girls. You, hey, 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 that's actually pretty deep. Whoa, -ho -ho, there's some flow. I started floating. That was heavy. I started floating. Ho, 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 ho. When you're looking at river crossings, it's important not to just check the depth, but also the speed of the current. A vehicle is a bit like a sail in the water and can easily be pushed sideways, which can lead to all kinds of strife. Jesse's gone for a bit of a different line to stay out of the other vehicle's wheel tracks. And would you look at the pull of that current? Yeah, the TV carby. <laughs> After heading upstream to check out the weir, which is a pretty mint little spot, by the way, we head back out on the tracks towards the coast, where, of course, we're going to check out my secret Bundy pub. There's a lot of fun to be had on the way, though, and it's not long to we're Whoa. back into it in earnest. That's a bigger rut than you think. Oh, the old, the old. Oh, there's, there's the bank. What's that? Bank there's steering. Bank. <laughs> you can't choose all the good lines. Ah, this is just warming the tyres up to get them ready. Do it better. -er. Oh, clear views straight into the bank. That's okay. They're built tough. Okay, brand new canopy. Here we go. <laughs> Hashtag three wheels. That was a wheel lift. Yeah. It's a side step. Wow, this is tight. Oh, look yeah, at that. Yeah, wheel lift. You're going to get good volume in that tire. <laughs> oh yes! Wow! Looks like he's still on three wheels. I think. I think we're good now. I think he's on three wheels for the whole run up there. Yeah, he was. There's always one bloke on a trip out to cause trouble, and while I'm spotting the boys through, someone up front is messing with my rig. All right. Just going to turn Graham's heater onto the maximum. That should make it nice and warm on a 32 degree day. <laughs> Slow angle, a lot of angle. Whoa, whoa. Oh, that was close. Whoa, Still, he's done it. You know, the flex is alright, that thing, too. Once again, that fulcrum kit has come up the goods. That's a nice drive, mate. Bit of a little trick if you've got an unlocked car and you're going into some flexy stuff, you just uh, watch the door like that. If you've got central lock and you just uh, put the lock down, you've got lockers then. Whenever he puts his tyre, it's like perfect spot. Except for those bits. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Oop. Have a go at that, eh? Unlocked GQ. Every man's car. Every man's car. Eating it up, absolutely eating it up. Let's get out of here! Holy heck! <laughs> Holy heck! <laughs> ah, what's going on, mate? It's like being in a Turkish prison. <laughs> nice and warm in there. Oh isn't it? yeah, what are you doing, mate? I'm just making it. Making it oh, that's really warm. It's like 58 degrees in there. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure you get to feel all the features of this new D Max. So we've got some crackers in there. Oh, it has. See how 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 warm it can be. Oh, Turns out if you're in the snow, that'd be really... Oh, that'd be perfect for in the snow. So hot in there. Oh, he's a joker. It's getting to that time of day when the thought of a beer is starting to cross our minds. But first, another massive rut is up ahead. How am I gonna do this? Well, I don't know. Stay high, that's it. Well done, good line. Oh! 
Oh, oh, oh. Where are you yes. going? I might have to use a bit of front locker, I think, boys. Ow! Go to lockers. Yeah. Damn, Shauna! That looks like a buck clencher right there. Keep coming, keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Holy heck! <laughs> I thought you might have gone over then for a yes, second. I, I, I can't talk. You wouldn't go too far, though. I'm going to stop looking at Robert's yeah. side. Yeah. I was going, I'm just going to drive through. You put your voice went higher. I was like, oh, okay. That was impressive. Oh. Uh, how you doing, mate? No, oh, no, Jesus, pretty stinks good. in there. Oh, just, oh, yeah. Look at this. I'm lucky I've got the old uh, Razorbacks on, mate, because I would have dead set messed my seats up. Yeah, that was an angle. All right, I'm getting out of here. Yeah, see ya. Stuff like that, though, it makes you feel alive. Holy heck. Come on, Nathan. <laughs> You're on the bad side, too, the whole way. Whoa. Oh. Fulcrum take their product testing very seriously. And as I've got one of the first new D-Maxes to be fitted with their kit, Nathan's decided to hop in and see how the car performs for himself. I'm not worried, I'm not worried. <clears throat> I heard you're a very good driver. Who told you that? I heard you pick great lines. Oh, here we go. I think he's gonna spend a fair bit of time on three wheels here. Well done, ooh. Nathan, you, Graham. Gently, gently. Just watch Jesse. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you gotta be careful and ready for anything. Whoa! <laughs> 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 got nothing to say. No, right honestly, now. like get your faculties together because this bit is fully sketchy. It's amazing where you can take a vehicle with good spotting, and the D Max is making a pretty insane rut look quite drivable. Nice one, look at that. Jesse's put us on a really nice line here. Well done, mate. Well Thank played, you. well <laughs> played. <laughs> it was a good drive. I might need to get out and shake myself after that. <laughs> no, it's all right. It's not even that. Is it loud? <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty loud, actually. <laughs> all said and done, that is I, quite I, offensive, really. I can't do this anymore. <laughs> I'm rattled. I'm rattled. I'm shook. Ruben's got a whole lot of rig to get up there and the clear views are coming in as he starts up the climb. Once again, Jesse's got the eagle eyes out and is making the impossible, well, look relatively bloody easy. Impressive. Very impressive. Ruben drove that nicely. He did, he did. Big Daz is up though. Yeah. What do you reckon? I reckon everyone's put a bit of pressure on me to make yeah, it look that I easy. Reckon, I reckon. I wouldn't mind going for a ride or not with you. Well, I'm going to get in the, in the fighting position. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a good noise. Okay, <laughs> that's not the start I was hoping for. We ran out of time at the bottom. <laughs> yeah, we got this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can see movement. I can see movement. I rock as well. I rock in time. Yep. Yeah. We might have to back it up. Just a little bit more bunty through there. Whoa! Be nice oh, to down, mate. Up the top. I feel like I'm going to change size rapidly. Crossover. I'm going to change size rapidly. Oh! Oh! Yeah, I'm <laughs> good. It. I'm good. Oh, that's not so good. Oh! You're in the right. Yeah, we really are. <laughs> My voice is breaking. <laughs> oh, Holy yeah. heck! It's going to get better real soon, though. Let's hope it gets better. Yep. Who gets any worse or in strife? We really have. That unloads. Oh, that was a good drive. That was not bad. I, was, I thought it was going to be trickier. Significantly quicker than us. <laughs> yeah. Significantly quicker. What took us five minutes, we were there. 30 seconds, we're through. <laughs> ah, and that's how you race, folks. That's how you race four wheel drives. Hey, Ruben, you got a copy, mate? Sure do, Sean. Now, mate, you've been travelling in that big 200, you know, Cape York, Fraser Island, now here in central Queensland, so you've done a few miles in it. How do you rate it as a tourer, mate, you know, compared to, like, something like a 79 or a Hilux? Well, compared to a 79, the 200 is way more comfortable. It's got an auto box and it's got coils. So you're starting off with a whole stack of things that a 79 doesn't have, but it costs you a small fortune to try and accessorise at that point. How does it go just as a tourer, though? As a tourer, it is absolutely phenomenal. Like, it is just so comfortable to be in. 
cruise control, heating, cooling, all of jazz. It just does it all so well. And with the setup you got in the back, you've obviously done that so you can take a fair bit of gear with you. The GVM upgrade to the four and a half ton that we do, you know, I can load this thing right up and yeah, it's still got weight to burn. A lot of setups, you know, that's the thing that sort of stops them. They, they put a canopy on and a, a stack of stuff inside and then the weight creeps up and the car becomes illegal. Obviously, you don't even, you even need to worry about that, do you? No, not at all. We can have heaps and heaps of weight in the car and still tow at full three and a half ton. Well, mate, it's a real credit to you. An absolute dream rig. Jono, Cobby. Yeah, mate. You keen for a pub, mate? A little sneaky pub up the coast if you are you're after a brewski this afternoon. What a way to kick on the pub crawl, mate. What are you thinking? I don't know too many down at the coast, to be honest. Oh, I reckon you'll know this one. It's a pretty common one. It's um, I've just got to check if it's open. That's the only thing, because it does have sort of sketchy opening times. Yeah, Rogie, mate, Rogie. All right, well, I reckon we get down to the coast then. And um, yeah, mate, we could even camp down at the beach or something. Great campsites down there. Well, that's a brilliant idea. Well, how about that? We'll head down, stop in, have a brewski, head to camp. There's no better feeling than hitting the beach after a dusty day on the tracks. And Kinkuna Beach is one of the best. Would you have a go at this? Simply magical. How good is this? <laughs> Queensland. Absolutely, Absolutely spectacular. spectacular. Look at that, will you? That's not too shabby. I reckon if you owned a four-wheel drive for no other reason, it would be to be able to experience places just like this. Would you agree? Tied down nice and low, we're able to punt straight up the beach. But the sand is proving to be a bit too much for one of the convoy. You got a copy up the front there, Sean? Yeah, got you, mate. Yeah, a bit of a bust up happening down the back here. Um, Daryl seems to be getting a bit hot on the beach. I reckon I might have to pull over. It's all right with you, boys. I might keep going and check and see if this pub's open. All right? Yeah, good luck with that one, mate. I don't know too many pubs down that way, but you yeah, do your best. Yeah, yeah, you can't miss it. Down here on the right. Oh, Roggy, Roggy. Oh, good luck. We'll go sort this, um, sort Daryl out. There's not much the boys can do here except check the fluids and wait for old Daryl to cool down a bit. But that's all part of life when you run an old Forby. Meanwhile, I'm sailing up the beach and soon getting close to one of Queensland's finest beach bars. Of course, I've just got to put it together first. <laughs> With a few icy additions, Bundy's latest small bar is ready for business. Now, I just need a name for it. And some customers, of course. <laughs> you got to be kidding me. you got to be kidding me. Get a load of that bar. Welcome to the Cahill Bar. You're going to turn yourself. Oh, mate, you know have what's, a go with this. You know what's even more impressive than just the view? What's that, mate? The fact I'm going to drink one of your beers. Well, $11, <laughs> mate. <laughs> $11 a can. Get into it, mate. Oh, fire There's a glass. Thanks Help for that. yourself. Here you go, Ruben. Yeah, I'll crack them for you. Hey? I'm actually you, uh, obliged by law to crack them. Magical, man. <laughs> there you go, boys. I'll buy you one. One of the best views of any bar I've ever been to, mate. It's pretty good, isn't it? Oh, Not bad at all. There you go, mate. Look at that. Thank you very much. Look at that for a pour, mate. Might even have one myself. Look at that. Little bit of a frothy. Enjoy. Cheers. Cheers, mate. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, Cheers boys. <laughs> Blue skies, a beach camp, and a cold frothy in hand. If you ask me, life does not get much better. And soon, we're setting up for the night. Would you check out Ruben here? He's got a dedicated fridge just for the drinks. Now that is good planning, mate. Now, you might be thinking, what's in this tiny little black package here? This right here is a Red Arc 115 watt solar panel. Folds up really neat. And the other thing you might be thinking, why am I putting it on my bonnet now? Sun's getting low in the sky, but what I figure, Queensland in summer, soon as it gets about 5 a.m., even a little bit earlier, that sun comes straight up in the air and you start getting um, usable solar energy. So what I'm gonna do is a little bit of pre-planning. I'm actually gonna get the solar panel set up right now. So I harness that little bit of sun's energy right now and then in the morning when I wake up, it's already charging the battery before I get out of my swag. 
you ask me, it's a pretty good idea. Camp is soon set up and the tide is rushing in, giving the newly named Cahill Bar a water frontage. That's pretty hard to beat. But there's just one more thing we need to complete our second pub stop of the trip. Well, boys, given that I've given you one of the greatest pub views you'll ever see anywhere, I don't know about you guys, but I feel like a pub feed. I'd love a cannery. Well, yeah, a cannery. Well, I'll tell you what, if we were to leave right about now, no, we could be back no. into town. I've got it, I've got it. I can do, I can, I can cook great pub grub. You could have. So, <laughs> so, look, honestly, boys, put your orders in. Palmy. Is it palmy? Yeah. Palmy done. Challenged. I can cook the best palmy Absolute getting around. Challenge. I've got some chicken in there. Oh, no. I, I hope you're ready for it. Actually, it just, it just sprung on me. Yeah. Better than a normal pub palmy, I'm going to do the Queenslander palmy. Oh, what's a Queenslander yes. palmy? You sit back and relax. Maybe get the boys another beer. I'm going to start stretching for this one, mate. This is going to be all time. Just all um, right. hope you're ready for it and hope your guts are too. Oh, I hope we've got a few iron jacks by the sound of it. <laughs> <laughs> Palmies by the beach. I reckon this meal might be one to remember. And hopefully not just in the morning, if you know what I mean. How good is this? A beach campsite. After being in the bush all day, I tell you what, it's sometimes refreshing to come to the beach. And look, Graham's pub was an absolute breath of fresh air. The view was spectacular, but more importantly, I got to have a couple of Graham's beers. Now, that is always worth a little quick cheers. To steal one of Graham's beers is finally, it's finally starting to pay off. Thank I you very much. I got your beer for you. Thank you very much. Tonight, I want to do a bit of pub grub. I hope so. But this is going to be a little bit more of a camp pub grub style, okay. all right? So, yep. palmies, and you put it in a wrap, it's going to be absolutely Actually sounds pretty good. It's going so to be you're sensational, gonna... mate. It's going to be the Queensland version. So, oh, so it'll be really soft and watery. Hold this one. Sure. Light cheese. No. Pineapple. <laughs> no, no, bring it back. I actually need to jump into my cool one. Actually, you could do that. Yep. Jump in there. There should be some chicken breast in there. Oh, and, look, uh, we'll need some I'll of that. I'll find them. Here we go. We've got chickens. We've got some chickens. Yes. And I bought a little bit of pig as well. Oh, yeah, some bacon is on top. That. I went for some very nice, voluptuous chicken breasts, mate. And I am a fan. Well, who isn't? What I'm going to say about this one, mate, is obviously that would be way too big for a palmy. So what we're doing is we're trying to basically fill it that breast down a little bit into a couple of that's, that's manageable a, pieces. <clears throat> that's called a breast reduction. Well, yeah, it actually is. It actually is. That's what we're talking about. Nice and thin because the thinner they are, the easier they are to cook. You've actually done quite well there. And basically, I'm doing a bit of an egg wash. I'm thinking like five or six, to be honest. As a what? What? As an egg wash? Yeah, pretty much. Really? Mm -hmm. That many? Yeah, it's a fair bit of chicken here, mate. So don't don't break the bag. Is the well, key. this is this is a bag of consequence. So sometimes, if you get it and just give it the old shake, that's how you do it. That's how you do that. I've got the chicken um, hands. I've got the chicken hands. Yeah, you go in there. Nice thinly splayed breasts. Put them in there. I love I love thinly splayed breasts. I know. Any any breast really. How are you All going right. with that? Yeah, you really good, that? really good. Look at that. That's okay. I probably put a bit too much egg in there to be well, honest. Well, I didn't want to say anything, Chef. I want to try and get some of that egg wash, excessive egg wash out. So the, look, I'm doing this obviously really close to the campsite, but because it's in sand, you can just kick a bit of sand over. So it's not a, it's not a deal breaker, is it? It's a fair bit coming out. It's a fair bit coming out. I should have, I should have listened to it you, reminds mate. reminds me of a horse stud. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> you give us a hand here. Grab the top end. I don't want to do Grab, this. Yeah, you do. And I'm just going to push and squeeze. <laughs> oh, I get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Yeah, relax your grip when I do mine. Harder. That's it. <laughs> That's enough. One of my favourites is using the basic breadcrumbs. The cheapest ones you can buy. I, I find they go really well. They're a bit panko, gourmet. Panko is a bit gourmet. If you're trying to impress a lady, well, that's the thing to do. Yep, I cover her breast in panko. <laughs> wow, because basically the egg is going to make the, the panko stick to the breast. So that's it. It's a fair bit of panko in here. All right, I'm going to get this going, Chef. Okay, you give, get, that a, give that a shake. You and get the oil going. Exactly yep, right. yep. So the, the key is really hot oil now. Okay, so that is oh, that's what we're dealing settle with. Settle down, Chef. That is what we're dealing with here. Some of them. Look at that one. That one's yeah. almost cozy. You've got to touch him up every now and again. That's, that's where right. a mate can come in. Mate, those breasts are looking absolutely sensational. Aren't they though? I'm just transferring all these to the lid. And then we're gonna cook some bacon up in that. Straight in the pan. It's gonna be nice, man. You get that going. Oh, look at that. Oh, stop it. Oh. Stop it, you. Yeah. Look at you guys. Well, my wrists aren't what they used to be though. <laughs> I have to hold that up. 
I'm gonna get a couple of cayenne peppers, cut them straight up. That that bacon's cooking up nicely. Now's the yep. bit where you start to introduce a little bit of flavour. This one here is a um, Tabasco variety ah, of the sriracha. Okay. Hang on. You want me to have a go? Oh, uh, oh don't show this. <laughs> <laughs> Really nice, easier. Oh yeah, done. Easy as. Give it a shake. Give it. A... Hey, yeah, there you go. Put a fair bit of that in. Yeah. This one's a Tabasco sriracha. Fair bit of that. This one's a green sriracha. Never seen this before. My eyes are starting to burn from the chili. Holy <laughs> the shit! Fumes. The fumes. With the green chili. Green chili. Ooh. <laughs> Put it all in. Napoli. Dude. Napoli enter. Thank goodness we are on sand tonight. That's all I can say. <laughs> this is just um, crushed tomato, pretty much. So I'll just put a little bit of that in. Where's that looking? It's starting to come, come yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, it's looking good. A range of sniggies. Yep. Just so Do you want every... to try a little piece? Yeah, Chef? let's try a little bit. Oh, give us a little bit of that. Is it hot? No. Nah. <laughs> pretty good. Yep, that's gonna get the that's gonna get the fire going. Isn't All it? right, <laughs> is that looking good? Chuck it on top. Chuck on it, there. Yeah, chuck it straight on top, mate. Sure, this chef. Is, oh, hang on. Hang on. Mm -hmm. You just gotta shake it in there. What am I holding this? Well, that's a silly oh, idea. Very dangerous. Yeah, can I put it, it down? No, you can do. Yeah, I can. <laughs> what are you doing holding yeah, it? You're really <laughs> awkward spot. Yeah, well, there you go. Oh, that looks like me tomorrow. Just gotta spread that around. Really cover all bases here. Bit of a crazy idea. Bit of a crazy idea. You got the cheese on top yep. now. I'm basically getting that same saucepan that we cooked oh, in. Oh, yes. Now, the brilliant thing about that is all that flavour is going seeping down, but mm -hmm. it's keeping all the heat inside. We need a heat sauce on top. Exactly right. That's cute, Reuben. Oh, that's perfect. Feel exactly the heat in that. Exactly right. Now, that's going to help get that cheese all melted. So, I'm yep. cooking really low on the bottom. Like, hardly anything on the bottom. Perfect. And just a little bit from the top. Hang on. Holy oh, heck! Oh, we are on. Look at that. That's chuck, some. Chuck those straight off. That is death by cheese. We've got the snitties ready. We've got the wraps. Woo -hoo. Oh, you fellas, come on in. All right, a couple of light cheese there. Oh. Yep. <laughs> yep. We've got pineapple. Oh, look at that. Oh, my goodness. That's Holy. the hardest egg in a roll. That is. That is unbelievable. <laughs> Do we have to have that? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah. Sorry. We're we done it. Excuse, really? Excuse yeah. fingers. I'm with you, Graham. No, same. Look, that looks like something out of a oh, horse farm. Right in the middle. I'll try and squeeze most of the juice out for you. Yeah, well, you've done that before. There you go. <laughs> mm. Tell you what, boys. Palmy's out in the bush. What do you reckon? Mate, no. put him in a wrap. You got a winner. Proper Queensland palmy. That is absolutely sensational. Oh. Yeah? Well, it really I'm, is. I mean, 10 out of 10. Boys, what do you reckon, eh? 10 out of 10 out of 9 ditches. Just keep yes. those freaking Surprise lychees me. and pineapple out of the way and we're good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go around the fire, wrap our laughing gear around this. That is another success, mate. Mm. Oh, far out. There's even enough of seconds. Stick around, folks, because coming up are some wild local tracks and another classic pub. I've been lucky enough to visit many of Australia's best four-wheel drive beach destinations. And I gotta say, Kinkuna Beach has gotta be right up there. Sunrise over the water, perfect weather, tracks close by. This is worth getting up early for and making the most of. I live for this. Soon enough, a few other rough heads are popping up around camp and getting ready for another big day, where we'll take on some tracks that locals reckon are the hardest in the region. Ruben's put his hand up to get some brekkie on the go, and just as you'd expect, he doesn't mess around. Soon there's steaks and bacon on the hot plate, and hairs are about to grow on chests. Ruben, that is the breakfast of champions, mate, and me. Exactly that is right. superb. Exactly really right. good. A little steak for brekkie. You can't go better than that, mate. Well, That'll yeah. prepare you for some of the big tracks they do today. Speaking of which, Exactly right, mate. I'm, th I'm thinking down at Pine Creek. Yep. It is sensational driving down there. All the locals love it, like the yep. fence line track. You've got two, two step. step. I can guarantee you one thing. That's we're going to be on three wheels more than four today. Yeah, there's going to be some wheels in the air. Speaking of wheels in the air, last pub. Where I've, are we finishing I've up? I've got that covered too, mate. You have? I, look, it's not going to beat the Cahill pub. I was going to say, it's going to have to be a big step up. Look, that was pretty sensational. Yep. I, I must admit, that's one of the better pubs we've ever been to. But this one is not a bad pub as well. So we get through all the tracks today, and I reckon if we can finish up at the pub, 
be fantastic. Now, I don't want to put a down or anything, but we do need to be just a little bit cautious of business. Uh, you guys still owe me for the beers last night. It was $11 <laughs> per can. Just pay up before we leave camp today. That'd be fantastic, boys. Nice. Right. I want to use that. We'll put that money towards recoveries today, mate, and um, we'll see what the tab is at the end of the day. <laughs> Probably bankrupt. <laughs> Camps like this, folks, they're really worth protecting. So before we pack up, we're going to do a bit of a clean-up of rubbish left behind by other visitors. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. If you can, bring a bag for your rubbish and another for other people's rubbish. Soon, we're going to have our precious tracks and camps cleaned up and ready to be enjoyed for years to come. Two bags in, two bags out. It's as simple as that. Really, it's something we can all get behind. Well, honestly, this place really is as good as it looks. King Kuna campsite is what it's called. Uh, there's about 40 sites that run along the beach here. You don't have to get a permit and pay when you come in. It's only cheap. If you are coming in late, folks, I don't mind to be that guy, but I'm gonna say it. Just keep your speed right down. There's lots of little kids playing, building sandcastles, having an absolute dream time. So do slow down if you're coming through here because there are families camping up here, but what a spot! Have a go at that! Wish I'd bought me surfboard. Now, I mustn't have scared Nathan enough last time because, once again, he's decided to join me in the D-Max and keep an eye on my suspension's performance. Mate, I suggest you hang on because I'm feeling pretty sandy. Ooh, that's up. Whoa! <laughs> yep, that's the three wheels you're talking about. Well, <laughs> wait. Occasionally it gets well, up. Well, <laughs> occasionally it gets that up. That is cocking the leg in its extremest form. Oh, I've done it again. Like. It's very stable though, and when it does come down, it, it's quite compliant. It's not. Yeah. It's not harsh. No. But that's about 30 seconds into the track. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, it only goes up from here, literally. Awesome. Can't wait to see what these oh, things can do. I might have to get out and shake myself. <laughs> Up ahead is something of a serious challenge. A big pair of diff bang and rock steps. <laughs> have a go at that. And to make things interesting, Jesse's given Sean the challenge of taking it on without resorting to the magic buttons. A bit of bunty required. Tiny bit of bunt. Well, this is probably one of the most famous challenges here in Pine Creek. Yep. Every single local seems to talk about it. It's called Two Step. I, look, I've got, I've got, I don't know, a bit of optimistic. Yeah, you got the confidence, today. Right? I, just, I think I can do it unlocked. Just drive up and, and then square up to it. Try and get those. You don't have lockers. You don't want to get all unloaded nah, nah. on the suspension. Just try and hit it. Use enough rolling momentum. Yep. That's, I'll need a fair bit of rolling momentum, I, I reckon. I will do it unlocked. I'm going to give it a crack. And, we're, and, there's, and there's the no Jesse spot rule for you. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine with me. <laughs> All right, I'll get in there and stomp steer and put it. Oh, let's leave. Do a lid skid. Right, I'm okay. <laughs> Get in there. Oh, wowzers! You hate that. You see, you'll do it unlocked. Then you sit down at the bottom of the hill and have another look at it. It's got a little bit bigger. Ah! <laughs> all right, always does this. Come on, mate. We haven't got all day. I oh, just sort of a bit scared of doing this track, I think. I might need a, a little push. Go, 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 go! Oh, get your foot off the brake! I don't have it on the brake. Go! Okay, ready? Far out, Sooty! Don't be like this. Come on, old girl. You're nearly done. You can go home to the cafe capital of Australia as soon as <laughs> you get this out and done, mate. Come on, Sooty. Let me have a go. Let me take, because you go all the way, and then you go like that. And then we get <laughs> these cars, we come around here, and we drive it. Just going to try and knock this starter motor into a bit of submission here. Sometimes you can just get things to free up a little and she'll crank over. That's if the driver decides to get it. <laughs> ah, you! <laughs> nah. Start your own car! <laughs> I'm out! I'm out! <laughs> <laughs> he loves it, he loves it. He's got, he got to the toilet, I think. <laughs> keep it going, keep it going. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Whoa! Okay. All right. I've got this. Go back. Yes! 
We're on. All right, no lockers, take one. Little locker would have helped then. And take two. Get in that bin. I, I think now, now the driver, right? That's soft. It really helps with the locker, right, soft. boys? <laughs> Turns out that is that, it's hard to get that going. Is this a good time to tell you I'm not a great passenger? No, I'm looking forward to seeing how this pans out. Yep. You you said to me, I want to see what our shocks can do. I think it's going to be quite shocking. I think you're going to be shocked, yeah. It's amazing what that tyre will hang on to, eh? Yeah, it is. <laughs> okay, so I turned a bit early there. Let's try that again. There's not, there's not much hold up. No, it's only a little bit holding up. You're nearly up there, just... One smooth motion, mate. A bit more bundy. Stay up though, high. Yeah, That's Ooh. gone well. Thank you. Well, step one, tick. Step two, yeah, not so much. Oh, nah. You're really bellied out. Nah, nah, nah. We might have to get the rumber out. Your sort of back end's just slid out and you're really hung up. Close though, you got the front up. A quick winch and we're out of strife. Yeah, good daddy. Got the first step, no worries. Second step, just a little bit bigger, belly it out. It's that clearance issue, really. But you needed to winch about a foot, and that's all he took to get up there. Well done, well done. We did it. We are through. That's two right. step. Well done, son. Now, Ruben's rig is chassis extended, and that wheelbase is pretty huge. I reckon I'm going to try some crawl control, because last time I did a CV. Yep, on our last trip, one of the CVs in the 200 went after a big effort up the glasshouse ball bearing track. And Ruben is clearly not keen for a repeat. Oh, the belly. The belly of the beast. The 200 is at full extension here and it's not going anywhere. So Jesse gets into spotter mode and jumps into some rock packing. You've got to just straighten up here and just drive it a little bit harder to go down. I think you're on your back, bits. There he is, got to do it. Oh, I'm driving it a lot easier than ball bearing. Yeah, because I, I do not want to break no, don't, anything don't. today. I would like to go to this pub we're talking about tonight <laughs> and actually enjoy a nice cold coffee. Good news is, if you need a winch, uh, he's got heaps of clearance. I'm not going to winch. You yeah, might have to. Dare yeah. you? You might have to, Ruben. This is like this is more of an 80 series hill, to be honest with you. It's packed, it's meant to be packed. So you sort of get going and then roll her up, but you've only got like three to be able to get it going. Okay, that's fine. Now, which way do I steer? <laughs> Just drive straight until you feel the back side come up, then you can Am I straight the there? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I block my ears every time I get scared. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no! <laughs> no, I'm not worried about the tray. It means I've got a winch. No! It's all right. It's OK. You're in, you're in very exclusive company. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Ruben's picked up a little bit of a memento from our Bundy pub crawl. But we've got him hooked on the winch and ready to winch him out. The 200's a big girl, but she gets out no dramas. That was a good crack, mate. Okay, it's time for Daryl, and unlike Sean, lockers are not an option. 
but I reckon Jesse's not going to let that stop him. Whoa! Whoa! Committing drive! Holy heck! Well, now you get to see firsthand how a winch truck gets treated. Holy moly! We're going to have to take a few Stop. points off that. The bull bar is in the tyre. <laughs> Turn hard left. You haven't got much room to play with. <laughs> yes. Drive it. Come back left hand down. Not too far. Go from there. Hard right end down. Bundy it. That wheel's going to go in the air if I steer right. Well, then don't steer right. Oh, it's a vulgar display of aggression. Oh, yeah. Yes, give up. If only he had some locking differentials. He's, he's running out of track here. Oh, tyres won't like stop as well as the car. Oh, that full bar in your tyre. Not good. Ah, oh, muy bueno. Let's try and pull that out. Let's get some men on it. Yeah, we'll get some men. Graham, stand back. <laughs> oh, crap. I reckon that other line, Jesse, and I'll pack it. No, 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 no. So, I'll get out and pack for myself if I have to. <laughs> it's going to be like that, is it? I reckon if you just hit that straight, Jesse. As soon as I get it straight, that wheel's in the guard yeah, to stop because it's on tech screws. Yes! Whoa! Oh, oh, so close! Hey. All right, I reckon we winch, mate. <laughs> what Woo! the heck? Did you say winch? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Daryl. I'm just going to make sure there's no bits of Nissan. Oh, there's a fair view. Wow, well, just like a hire car. That one goes it really places is, yeah, it shouldn't. It goes just about anywhere. Nissan's got a pretty strong little drive train on it. And yep. that's probably what got it through there. It really is. Is that and a spirited man behind the wheel? I think those two are uh, going to have to oh, spend some time just, together. You just had to get that inch right line. I was pretty Mate. prepared to get the winch out, but not Jesse. Exactly you were how de he feels. determined. Well, we're going to uh, we're gonna have to winch that bull bar off the front. Yeah, you that's, can't, can't quite drive it. That's tucked right up in the um, wheel arch. All right, Ruben's re rear winch, I reckon, will do the job. Yep. Good drive. Well, that was something else, but Daryl has survived to see another day. Goodness knows how. Just might even be a little more clear as there. Don't know what I'd do without you, Reuben. With that challenge done, we are one step closer to our next beer stop. Now, we're doing a bit of a pub crawl and we get to see some pretty cool outback pubs, but keep in mind we don't advocate drink and driving because that is very, very dangerous and very irresponsible. We only ever have a beer when we pull up to camp and there's no more driving to be done for the day. So make sure you drink responsible and don't be afraid to go and explore and um, find some of these out of the way little outback pubs because I'll tell you what, they're a heck of a lot of fun. Further into the Pine Creek region is another doozy of a challenge. It's a long, deep rut with a big old log on the bank that looks like it's taken its fair share of panels over the years. Sean's up first and soon finds himself uncomfortably close to that bank. Yeah, I'd probably be going, inclined to be going up to the right. There is not much in that. Steady. Sean, sure, you're going to have to back right out and get real high. Turns out that's easier said than done and soon Sooty is wedged up against the passenger side. I'm in an awkward spot now. Nah, it's just not gonna work. Nah, it's not gonna yeah. work, bro. Your bum is way too far across now. You're on your flare. Badly on the flare. Oh, not a good spot to be. You've really kind of done yourself a mischief here. It hasn't, hasn't started off well. Sort of fallen in that rut, hasn't really done me any favors here. Got risk of panel damage on that entire passenger side. And that's the clean side of the vehicle too, so I want to protect it. So Jesse's just packed up down here with a couple of logs. It's going to raise this back up and hopefully push it off the bank. Oh, ever so slightly. Keep coming. Keep coming. Keep oh, coming. Man. Keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. Stop there. Oh, that's not good. A little bit left, a little bit left. Yeah, that's good. Keep going back at that. I think you're just about out. That's brilliant. I'm going to have another go at this. Yeah, you got to go higher. Way yeah, higher. I'll get that now. Keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. We've almost got to come coming. over this log here. Keep coming, keep coming, keep coming, stop there. 
I reckon I could pop a tire over that. It's gonna feel awkward, but you're right. So do I had the best of times, but <laughs> With that better line, Sean sneaks his way through with just a love tap on the awning. Oh, that must have been close. Holy sugar. Now comes the main rut itself, but Jesse's up front doing the spotting and getting Sean o through. These tracks really are technical driving at its best. Up and down, up and down, big angles. <laughs> yes. Well, if this doesn't get your heart pumping and make you feel like you're alive, Check your heart rate, check everything. Just check you got a pulse. Got both lockers on just for ultimate amount of traction. Don't want to be skidding offline here. Find those lockers just help you keep straight. Those tyres get the most amount of traction in those tyres. Got the tyres let right down as well, about 18. It's what you need, every little bit of traction if you want to drive real technical stuff like this. Nice spotting, Jesse. We saved the panels. Well done, son. Well, there you go, eh? Oh, that's not too bad. Oh, yeah, a little bit. That's all right, though. I'm happy with that. Go, Sooty, you absolute beast. Well, there wasn't a millimetre to spare for Sean, eh? So with the D-Max, this should be interesting. It's going to be super close. Might even get some Max tracks out, just to get that side up a bit. I reckon we'll just build it up and just, just level you out of fracco. Yeah, that sounds good. Right, this is an awkward little spot to be doing it, but we've had a good idea to put a couple of Max tracks on this side of the vehicle. So when it drives up over the Max tracks, it's going to level that vehicle out. So basically just using them as a ramp, um, not as a recovery device, as a panel saving device. Drop that one in there. Creep forward. Yeah, it's good. It's good. And look at that. We are through. Time for some tight rope walking on wheels. Gonna get a little bit flexed up through here. Hopefully you can maintain that line. Yeah, well done. <laughs> I love it when he does that. He just wheel lifts and he pulls through right at the end. Just commits to the drive. It's a bloke who's been on three wheels a few times. He knows how to steer it. That is a location that you would not ordinarily take, a touring VMAX. Yeah, look at that. Little bit of a love tap there, but that's why these things are built tough. That won't stop it. Now, you've got to be realistic when it comes to obstacles like this, and the big 200 is just not going to fit. So for this, Ruben's going to have to take another line around, and that just leaves Daryl. All right, Jesse, um, when you're ready, mate, you uh, take it away and I'll do my best to spot you out of trouble. Yeah, righto, I'm ready to go. Here he comes. That's the go. He nice suddenly to looks a lot bigger. Route. Turn in beautifully. Well, that was Miles away, yeah, that that's going to be good, while. mate. Got to get your rear end over. It's a good line, Jesse. Look at that. Nice low centre of gravity. You, you got about three feet between you and the log. Oh, it just goes to show, Max Tracks, you know, they were invented to be used on the beach to get you out of sand, but we have found that these things just come in handy for so many things. I mean, we've used them in vehicle repairs. We've used them in recoveries, of course, in situations like this where you need to lift the back of the vehicle up and just get some clearance. We've used them to build ramps. I've said it before, say it again. A set of Max Tracks are a must have in a four wheel drive. Check out those wheel placements from Jesse there. The boy sure knows how to wheel. A couple of sensational drives through that. Surprised we got the D-Max through on skates. I was, I was a little bit hesitant about that. Really canopy, that's a bolder move than I would have done, but it, was a bold it all move. paid we got off. Through. Lucky, Sean and I were there. Yeah, <laughs> oh, well, it's true though. Talk true. it up, talk it up. <laughs> all right, let's move on, eh? Well, it's been a thoroughly enjoyable day on the tracks of Bundaberg, and I've got to say, the suspension that Fulcrum has kitted out on our vehicles has worked like an absolute charm. And that really comes down to local, real-world testing on the part of Fulcrum. So Fulcrum, of course, builds all their own suspension, does it all here in Brisbane. Yep. And R&D's in Brisbane. Also, what I'm loving, R&D's out here on the tracks. 
You're actually yeah, coming we, down the tracks and, and using your suspension and learning from it. We do get a lot of opportunities to, uh, yeah, get out on the tracks and test our stuff. Yep. If you notice something, you're going to take that straight back to the office and let the boys know. Absolutely. That's cool. Yep. Go, go home, figure out what, Could what be we need to do to, yep. uh, to sort it out and get it working. Well, mate, I think you've dialed it in because this thing is handling like an absolute dream out here. Look, it's, uh, yeah, it's doing really well. If you have any issues, let you know. Let us know and the I beauty like of R&D in Brisbane is we can, we can sort it out. Make the changes. Okay, folks, it's time for our next stop. And we reckon you'll agree that this one is an absolute cracker. But what about you? What do you recommend for the best Outback pub to visit? Let us know in the comments below and you can guarantee we'll definitely try to make it there. Well, mate, it's gonna be very hard to beat your pub, but for the third and final pub, mate, we've got one up here on the left. Now, it's actually officially closed, mate, since COVID, but they've actually handed me the keys to open her up, and um, as long as we serve our own beers, the pub is ours for the night. Mate, I'll be one of the better looking barmaids you've ever seen. Give me a go, give me a go. I'll wear whatever you want. Mate, this sounds almost exciting, a tiny bit scary. <laughs> Let's pull up out the front, eh? Hey? <laughs> this is it here, this is sick! I know, what a little classic, a little gem. Proper Queensland pub, mate. This beauty right here is the Commercial Hotel in Cordelba. And I think you'll agree, it makes the perfect finish for our Bundy Bush to pub adventure. Australia, hey? How bloody good is it? Cheers to the new venture. Cheers, cheers, cheers boys. Cheers, cheers boys. Oh, I'll tell cheers. you what, take over the Commercial Hotel down at Cordelba. Yep, third and final Far pub. Out. What a cracker, mate. I thought mine was good. Have a go we're just place. taking we're taking the run of this place, yep. which is fantastic, just for 24 hours, and it really <laughs> ends up our pub crawl in central Queensland. Absolute style too. And Started off with way. the Bucker and then yep. the Cahill. Yeah, and then that one's only open for a very limited time. I know. I've lost I know. my license. <laughs> they didn't serve any beers yet to get your own in the end. <laughs> yeah. It actually got quite messy toward the end of the bartender, I tell you what. <laughs> Terrible look at me. <laughs> but I'll tell you what, like tough tracks. This place has it all, yeah, doesn't it? It really does. Tough tracks. Yep. We went down to Pine Creek, obviously, mm -hmm. right around um, down on the beach there, some yeah, of the best Kinkana. camping you'll ever that do. That camping, there's 40 sites down there, did you know? 40 Abs sites. All of them overlooking the beach, and of course tidal, so you got to come on the inland track every now and again, but folks, some of the best beach camping you do anywhere in Australia, and these Queensland Outback pubs, mate. mate it's the lifeblood of Queensland, really if you is. ask me, mate. It really you is. deserve to come down here, settle in, and a lot of them actually have camping around the back they and do. stuff like that, so Which is exactly plan what your do. trip. Plan your trip around a couple yeah. of pubs, it doesn't go astray. And just ask the public, and we asked it. Well, we're the public now, but <laughs> we asked the public in a second, we just roll our swags out. He said, yeah, no worries, so we're going to settle in here for the night, have a couple of skewies, and we will see you folks next time on... Four Night 24-7! Cheers, Cheers, mate. Cheers, Boys. buddy. Yeah. Nice back. <laughs> How good, eh? Don't go anywhere, folks, because coming up, my favourite part, the outtakes. But first, let's check out some of the kit that helps us lift wheels in places just like this. I'll tell you what, mate, the tracks out around Pine Creek. Yeah, good. Absolutely sensational. Yep. Some of the best beach camping. It's just one of those cracking trips. Yeah. Now's a part of the show. We want to go through some of the gear we use to make a trip like this possible. Now, keeping in mind that Pine Creek is a fair old hike from my place. Yep. It's about five or six hours on the highway. And we yep. drive our vehicles everywhere. We don't truck them, anything no. like that. So our maintenance and preparation for a trip like this starts back home in the shed. So I go right through my vehicle before every single trip. I change all the oils. I'm using castor oil yep. oils. I'm using all the castor oil lubricants in the vehicle. I go through, check the bearings every single time. Every yep. 5,000 Ks, I'm checking the bearings. I'm putting new oils in, new diff oils. Every time I go through water, mm -hmm. I'm just keeping that maintenance up, mate. And I think that is the main reason the why I don't break down in Sooty. And Sooty keeps going for an old rig that's got nearly half say, a million clicks. For an older vehicle, that okay, is. You've right. got to do it. You yep. absolutely have to do it. Now, yep. speaking of older vehicles, I haven't got one. <laughs> I have a brand spanking new D-Max, mate, hasn't yeah, she? Yeah, she's just performing so and well. And it looks really good She too. does look good, and that's one thing I want to do. I want to keep it looking good. And so for that reason, it's two reasons, actually. I'm running Razorback seat covers in here. Look at me, I haven't had a shower in days. I'm a little bit, there <laughs> you go. I just jump in and out of that thing. I couldn't care less because of the seat covers. Second reason, mm -hmm. there's been a couple of moments out there. Moments where you're very lucky to have seat covers because you don't want to be doing any don't damage inside. No seats, no you just, There's no staining the seats, but folks, seriously, if you want to look after the interior of your vehicle, and it does so much for a vehicle at resale time, if the interior looks great, if your seats look good, yep. chuck a set of Razorbacks on there, then you can be like me. You can just be a grub, mm -hmm. and it doesn't matter. 
Now, one of the cool things about visiting a lot of pubs on this trip, and yep. I'll tell you what, I've had an absolute ball. I've met a lot of locals. Haven't we, though? <laughs> Absolutely. And look, one of the questions that keeps popping up, mm -hmm. mate, is what spares do you take on your trip? Oh, yeah. When you go and do a trip like this or Cape York, a lot yep. of people are thinking of doing Cape York next they year, are, and they're saying, yeah. what spares do I take? Because I don't know. Mm -hmm. I just simply give them the Spares Box website. And I say, yeah. go there. That's exactly yeah. what I do. I go on to sparesbox.com.au, and I get the parts I need. Yep. For so in the back of my vehicle, I've got all the spares I need. I've actually got a mm -hmm. new alternator. I've got um, bearings. I've got even uni joints, I've yep. got a bunch of axle studs, a whole heap of things, a couple of hubs, yep. things that I know that I might break that um, I've got spares with mm -hmm. me. And now the couple of the guys were like, well, can you write that down for me? I said, no need, speak to the guys at Spares Box, there's a bunch of experts there and yep. they'll actually put a list together of the spares that you that's, need for your fantastic. vehicle. One thing I love about being able to do it online too is you can sit down for an hour online and have a good look through what you need, you can mm. pick it, add it to your cart, take it out of your cart, add it again. You can't do that in a shop. You feel like you, you can't just oh, walk you around. Can't, you you can't. can't. You can take your time when you're online, have, yep. a, have a beer, <laughs> and do it like that. You can't have a beer in the shop. That's not going to make... But it just makes doing that shopping list yep. so much easier. And you get it all in one place, yep. and then you put that in the back of your four-wheel drive. And away you it go. doesn't leave it. You've always got spares. Yeah, great idea. Great idea. Well, mate, my favourite part, the entire journey, is coming up next, and that's what? watching you make a fool of yourself. <laughs> I can't wait. On the bloopers. Folks, thank you very much. Catch you next time. Yeah, plus <laughs> <laughs> Thank no God, no one's seen it. Right. That's going to be a blooper, I can tell. It's totally going to be a blooper. I reckon you need about a oh, little oh, oh. Hello. I've never coated a breast fully before. Oh, yeah. You I've, tried, make... I've tried, but I, I, as a rule, I just fall short. <laughs> can you promise that will not be a blooper? Ah, uh, maybe. Let's just leave it there and see what happens. Yeah, we'll leave it there and see what happens. All right, here we go. Do you know why I carry nails in the car? Because. If you carry nails in the car, it helps you nail your drives anywhere. You just, you just put the nails in the middle and you nail the drive. I like the way you think. What do you reckon, Raven? Yeah, that sounds fantastic, Sean, but can I just pull up and get this out of low range, please? <laughs> no, it's not too bad. You want to you want to take that line, though, definitely. You wouldn't want to go up there, heaps. Oh! <laughs> What's he going to do? Oh, 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 who was that? Ow! Ow! Bernie's! Oh, what are you doing? I'm putting that on. What am I going to do with this? Oh, go away. <laughs> here's oh, the, here's the Bucker Pub. The Bucker Pub. Got to say that carefully. <laughs> no, there's no choice but to give it just a little winch and be on his way. How about we go hashtag shut up Shauno. Just put that in the codes everywhere you go. I'll appreciate it. Righto, Has let's winch. Hashtag drive better Graham. <laughs> If your car is lacking a bit of horsepower and you don't have mod money for major mods, anodized valve caps are proven to add five horsepower per wheel. Right. I can oi, let's do a cooking scene in the musical. Okay! Can I get a oh. That's very well done. Make sure all's okay. That's pretty deep, that's up to your waist. And again, Sean is pretty darn short for those of you at home that don't realise he's not much taller than me, about that much. <laughs> don't make me ping another rock at you! Check. Horn. Check. What are you going to put the panko in? Hey? What are you going to put the panko in? It's just mesmerising. <laughs> um. Do you get crocs in here? Too cold for crocs. Use my head. Can I? Yep. <laughs> it's quite... <laughs> a lot of shell grit that's gone into these chickens. Okay, I'll use the side of this. <laughs> you can cut that out. <laughs> <laughs>